Social media is great in many ways, but it can also be destructive, particularly if we allow others' negativity or cruelty to wound us. It can be said that a good person is a positive thinker. They think the best of others, they have a well-balanced outlook on life, and usually a good sense of humor. Good people readily do their part to make the world a better place. Perhaps most importantly, a good person has self-esteem. They have a sound sense of themselves and they know their strengths, while also remaining open to personal growth and self-improvement. But inevitably, as a result of finding the energy to deal with life and all its challenges, there are times when even the best of us can be tired, run down and vulnerable. This is entirely natural and usually, given time and space, our batteries will recharge and will bounce back. Until we do though, we may be sensitive to negativity and if we unexpectedly encounter some, it can feel like a deep personal wound. But it needn't be this way. There's something we can do to avoid being hurt, and all we have to do is remember to do it. Whenever we encounter unexpected negativity, the first thing we need to do is pause. This is the part where we put on our armor, then we need to see the negativity for what it is. Just because someone says or writes something negative about you doesn't make it true. It's not intended to convey anything of value, which means it's not valid on any level, so it's actually unimportant and irrelevant. You don't need to accept it or react to it, you can just release it and move on undisturbed. Then. Remind yourself of your self-esteem. No one's invalid words can undermine the good person that you are. It remains a sad fact that some people seek to make themselves feel better by making others feel bad. These people have much to learn, but they have their own journeys, which will eventually teach them that such behavior will only turn out negatively for them. It's important not to engage with them, as doing so will only reinforce the unwise actions they themselves need to discard. But that's their business. Yours is to let their negativity fall away, like water off a duck's back, as they say. Learning to do this is a necessary part of your own growth and development into a better and stronger person, and an even more worthy member of society. Kendo Nagasaki has been sharing these words for many years, and he's seen them truly empower a great many people. This is how cruelty can be completely cancelled, leaving you stronger and better able to go on living a good life leaving irrelevant negativity behind you. You just have to remember, don't react to it, release it. If this video has helped you, please like it, share it with anyone else it may help, and subscribe to our channel for more inspirational messages every week.